Hello, I'm Dr. Paul, and this is my beautiful wife, Lynn. And we're going to pick up here where we left off with our last video when the battery failed. So I'll let Lynn pick, pick us up. up where we were when the battery quit here a while ago. All right, well, you were finishing up about talking about parasites, and so you might just kind of recap why we would even have parasites as part of the grouping for the um, diabetic support package? Well, something that's not recognized or not spoken about with the regular medical profession is that humans have parasites just like animals do. And you're Regular medical doctors do not routinely do fecal flotations or other checks, skin scrapings, whatever, for internal and external parasites on humans. However, we do have them. And as you get to be older and as your diabetes progresses, your body becomes weaker and the parasites like to take advantage of a weakened condition and that's when they will move in just as you see with animals when you get a weakened animal that's where the parasites are most prevalent they take advantage of those situations and so parasite control with a diabetic is very important but you're not going to hear about it from your regular medical doctors well, and one thing, if you read and research some of the articles, some, some articles have even stated that what the parasites crave end up being what you start craving. And so you're, you're kind of fighting a losing battle if you say, well, I'm going to get a handle on my eating and, and lose a little bit of weight. But you got a little army inside of you that has a different opinion about what you're going to be eating. So that's, that's another reason for including the parasite in there. Now, all of these things are great. It's a great support for you. But there's a little more that you're going to want to do. And we've come up with some approaches that don't require special clothing. They don't require special shoes. They don't require a membership somewhere so that you can get a handle on say you want to lose a little bit of weight or you want to just get in a little bit of better shape. So there's, there's a couple things that we're doing and one of them is the Wim Hof breathing. And Wim Wim Hof is, he's either uh, Dutch or Belgian, and he's really an interesting guy. If you look on YouTube, there's lots of videos about him, and they call him the Iceman. And the reason is, he has learned through the type of breath work that he does, that he has control over his body and mind, and he can influence his nervous system. He climbed Mount Everest, in a pair of shorts and a pair of, of shoes with cleats on them. Now, you know, if you've watched climbers on Mount Everest, that don't, that's not what they look like. Yeah, and that was no shirt. And no short, right. <laughs> <laughs> and then the other thing, um, well, talk about his breathing a little bit, if you would. Well, it's, it's a set of exercises you do in a, a series of three sets and it's deep breathing basically it's what it is is it's just a, a practice of of inhaling and exhaling in such a way that you oxygenate your body more effectively than just your normal breathing and uh, oxygen therapy is great therapy for many things and the way that he uses it on a regular basis, he claims a, lo a lot of benefits, and I haven't been using it that long. I use it every morning, but I've only been doing it for 
three or four weeks and so I'm not that I'm probably not the one to give a testimon testimonial on it but I know that it doesn't hurt it doesn't cause any problems and uh, you know I, I don't see any harm in doing it so I'm going to continue to do it and see what the long-term results are now, if I want to look this guy up on YouTube, how do I find him? Okay, I've, I've got one site here that's www.wimhoff, W-I-M-H-O-F, method.com forward slash breathing hyphen exercises. And I'll put this in the comments below so you can see that website. Now, you said there's a set of three and the goal is that you can actually exhale on the 30th breath in the series and then not breathe in again for a certain amount of time. How long can you go? Well, it varies for uh, different people. Uh, usually, this morning, I'll give you an example. This morning I did, the f after the first set, I went one minute. After the second set, I went a minute and 20 seconds. And after the third set, I went a minute and 35 seconds. So each time you do the, the 30 inhale, exhale exercises, it oxygenates your body more and more each time. And I, I've only done uh, up through three series. I haven't gone any farther than that. But you guys might give it a try. See what you think. Okay, and that's something you can just do right at home and you don't have to leave home to do it. So um, now there's another thing and that's isometric exercises. And do you want to read that website where it's right here? And I want to I want to read something about it. I'll find what I want to read. Okay, isometric exercises. The website is www.feelgoodlife.com. It's capital F, lowercase e e l, capital G lowercase o o d capital l lowercase i f e dot com okay and just a little bit of this um, isometrics is a method of building strength without moving so in other words you're you're not on a bench trying to bench press or or lifting weights or whatever so it's more about self-mastery, kind of along with the Wim Hof breathing. And so what it's doing, basically, isometrics came out, in, uh, a real focus on it came out in the 60s. And it, it really, you know, hit, hit the big time, and then it kind of disappeared. Well, if you're able to do isometrics at home, and, and you can build body strength and muscle mass and streamline your body and feel better without having to leave home and without having to lift weights, that's not going to help the guys that sell exercise equipment or have gyms, is it? No, it, it's a matter of big business and uh, the isometric exercises impinges on the profit making of those big manufacturers who make exercise machines that they sell for thousands of dollars. So the, the isometrics are another thing that you can work in on your schedule, your time frame, and it's, it's not a commitment you've got to make to go to a certain location or a certain class. You can just do it on your own, and, and you can build up as you're going along with that. It, the isometrics use your own body muscles to build themselves. You, you, use, you push against your own muscles 
instead of lifting a weight or pushing up a, a, an exercise machine bar or something like that, you just push against yourself. You're, you use your own muscles as your exercise machine. Okay, and, and one thing to point out here is you're going to go at your pace and you're probably going to have less risk of injury of overdoing right overdoing something so that's a second part of what we would what we're doing ourselves really and if you choose to do it it might be a great addition to uh, kind of turning the corner on on how things are going with your health now the other thing is walking it really doesn't take anything special to walk well I'm gonna back up up here where we are in Montana in January you might have to put cleats on your shoes because there's ice all over the place and you're gonna have to layer up with a bunch of layers and a coat and the mittens and the gloves and the scarf so right now we're really enjoying the walking because all we have to do is grab a sun hat and walk out the door right <laughs> So, um, and, and if, if you're in a situation where you run into the times of the year that it's not so great to be outdoors walking, there's a lot of places that open schools or gyms or, you know, school gyms or shopping malls or whatever for people who like to walk and be in out of the elements. So that would be something to look in if it's convenient if it's in your neighborhood and otherwise figure out how you could walk at home there are some I've had some walking videos for years and you just put them in and it's a whole series of walking exercises you're not running in place you're not climbing anything you're simply doing a set of walking exercises so there are ways to get around the weather and and the equipment and everything else now finally Paul let's say that you know we put together these packages for people and I and I'll reiterate what we have package one with the never-ending plasma energy station and the eight vials that we put together with a total savings of $196 for the individual elements is $657. And the second package without the plasma energy station, because a lot of you might already have one, is um, a total of six savings of $189 and the package is priced at $427. So let's say that $657 is a stretch for your budget. How would you handle that, Paul? Well, you can get several people to go in on it with you. And uh, du it's duplicatable, and you can share it. So uh, the more people you can get to use it and share the cost, the cheaper it's going to be. And you might even end up with your own support group by doing that if there were three, four, or five of you who shared on it. Now, this is really a ratty business model, isn't it? It's, it's pretty poor, <laughs> all right. For us, because we send something to you one time, and you get to use it over and over, and you get to duplicate it for as many people as you like. So you get the plasma energy station, and this is how it's packaged. There's 16 vials in the package for the plasma energy station. They're between layers of foam and bubble wrap and surrounded with bubble wrap and surrounded with more in the package you're going to get. And then the, the extra eight vials are going to come like this in warm door to warm door weather. Now, when it's not warm door to warm door weather, they're going to come in vials like this that are BPA-free plastic. We've frozen these. We know they don't break. So, just depending on the weather. Now, let's say you got one of these, and let me see that jar. And let's say this was your um, this is your Clear Mind 
jar and you're going to have a series of jars okay and now you've got your clear mind all set up it's in a clear glass or clear plastic jar there's no opaque don't use anything opaque don't use stainless steel don't don't use your favorite piece of crockery just use clear plastic it can be tinted but you'll notice on this spray bottle that's tinted you can see a vial in there but you can see inside of it so that's okay um, but the plasmatic fields are going to be interrupted by anything that's opaque from the vial into the jar of water correct correct okay now once you have this set up and let's say there were four of you that went together on your package now you're going to set up four more four more vials of clear mind which is going to be the strongest vial they're all going to be the same they all came out of this jar that you charge with this vial so it's all it's all going to be the same energy and like i say it's duplicatable how long is it going to last it'll last longer than we will <laughs> longer than we will so it'll be around for your children and grandchildren so that's what we have for you on the diabetic support package and we do welcome questions if you want to put them in the comments below and we hope that you'll find this to be a good support system to try and get a handle on your health and don't ignore the signs that you have if if you have type 2 diabetes and you have high blood pressure you have extra weight you're carrying um, you're having blood pre blood sugar fluctuations don't ignore those signs because things can really go south on you over a period of time that's very true I can testify to that right and after Paul was diagnosed with type 1 diabetes at the age of 44 I believe you were 56 when you ended up with kidney failure and eight years on hemodialysis is a very long time and it also exceeds the survival rate of people on hemodial any kind of dialysis yeah the survival rates about five years and I was on it for eight before I got a transplant so and and the kidney transplant is um, it is not a cure. I guess that's probably the thing we need to say. It's, it's a treatment. It's much better than dialysis, but it brings its own set of issues uh, that you need to be very mindful of dealing with on a daily basis. Right. Uh, a kidney transplant always tries to reject. Your body tries to reject it. So in order to control that, you have to take immune suppressants which counteract your body's tendency to reject the kidney and it suppresses your immune system which then brings along a lot of other problems. You, you're susceptible to every flu, cough, cold, everything, every illness or disease that comes around you're susceptible to so you need to be aware of that and since i've been using the plasma energy i haven't had issues with coughs and colds in the winter time like i previously did have and so it's i think it's it has given me a significant amount of protection actually from infective viruses and bacteria well we want to thank you for watching today and if you have questions put them in the comments and you can go to our website plasmaenergysolution.com if you'll go to the title that says shop and then you will go to products uh, as the subtitle of shop 
as you go through the products, as we are doing these videos, we're adding them to that page so that you can get a little bit of information about each product. So is there anything else you want to add, Paul? No, I think that's about it. Uh, right. I don't have anything more to say about this other than if you think you've gotten any value from this video, give us a big thumbs up and share this with your friends and relatives. And also subscribe so that you'll be able to get notification of the new videos we put up. But to do that, you'll need to click the bell next to the sub subscribe button in order to get the notifications. And thank you very much for your time. We appreciate it.